Hi there. Today, we're going to talk about why you want to start an alt character on different servers or world. Yesterday, I had posted a video that I will link down in the description box on how to create an alt character on a different world, primarily for the reason to be able to attend weddings, which mine is coming up. But there's a lot of other reasons why you might want an alt character. Before I move on to that, if you want to join a lottery to go to my wedding, all you got to do is join my discord and go into the role selections and hit that wedding roll and you'll be entered to win. I had to take my glasses off. Let's talk about other reasons why you might want to start an alt character for Final Fantasy 14. One of the main reasons is to be able to join other FCs. You can't join an FC unless you have an alt character on that specific world server. So even if I'm on Crystal Data Center and someone else is on Crystal Data Center, if we don't have the same world server, server, let's say Goblin, then you won't be able to join their FC. The second reason is actually the biggest reason I see why people have alt characters, and that is glamours and roleplay. I myself have kept the same character for my main character since Viera was able to be um, used in character creation. So whenever I create an alt character on my same world, which I'll talk about why I do that later, I go for the different races because I'm never going to change my main character's race. I have played with her since the very beginning and there's just no way I could betray her <laughs> that way and change her to a different race. Now that is number two. This reason is the reason why people create an alt character specifically just for glamours. If they get something like with my Viera, I can't wear hats. So then I just put it in my FC chest so then I can give it to an alt so they could wear the hat. Um, and so I feel like I'm not wasting the glamour that I'm obtaining while playing through the game. The third reason you might want to create an alt character, and that's the reason that I create alt characters on my same world server. I'm on Goblin and I have seven other alts on Goblin. And that's because I run my own FC and only I'm a part of it. I don't have anyone a part of my FC and it's really easy to be able to make your own FC and just have your alts in it. Don't like the pressure of being in an FC so that's why I created my own but you need some alt characters in order to do that. And one trusted friend. Well if you want a video on that let me know. I don't think I do have one but if I do I'll link it in the description. Now the last reason that um, you might want to create an alt and I actually use this reason a lot is for cross world link shells. So because I'm a content creator but even before that I was a part of a lot of discords and I like talking to a lot of different people in a lot of different places but I wasn't able to talk to them in game if I wasn't on their data center. So I went ahead and made an alt character on every data center so that I'm able to play with any one of my Discord members now or my Patreon members. And I get a lot of satisfaction out of that, being able to go to the European data centers like Light or Chaos and being able to play with those people. And it just brings a lot of joy to me and I couldn't imagine not being able to do that. So we have cross world link shells set up. So whenever I log in, I can see who's online at the moment and talk to them directly. Cross world link shells is under the social tab. You can have multiple ones. This is my main character. So I only have one for my discord in the crystal data center that um, someone had started in the discord. On my other characters, I'm a part of many different other ones. And I really enjoy being able to talk to people when and they're on because on discord people might be on but maybe they don't want to talk <laughs> so logging in and being able to see who's actually playing the game and might be interested in playing is way easier and way more convenient for me personally so that's another really good reason to have an alt character now these are just a few of my main reasons why i have an alt character if you have alts for different reasons let me know down in the comment section because i'm really interested to see why people start alt characters watch the video on how to start an alt character because a lot of people actually don't know how to do that and it's really super easy and does not affect anything on your account. As long as you have um, the ability to create characters, then you'll be able to have an alt character on that data center. I want to give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. I have a couple of new ones and I just wanted to give a huge shout out to them to Cinder, Mahongo, and full dev and gg josh i really appreciate your guys' support and because of course you guys are patreon members you get an automatic invitation to my wedding that's happening on july 1st so i really appreciate it and thank you so much for your support if you want to watch more final fantasy guides and tutorials then you can click here